Well, welcome back to the Undervalued Investor YouTube channel, where today we're just taking a brief overview of Dianic International, a company that has been trending to the downside, but has some insanely large potential moving into the future with their current platforms. This currently trades on the NASDAQ under DYAI for just around a $40 million market cap or $1.32 US per share. Now, just as a brief introductory here, Dianic International is basically a global biotechnology company focused on building innovative microbial platforms to address the growing demand uh, for global protein production and unmet clinical needs for effective and affordable biopharmaceutical products for human and animal health with a passion to enable our partners and collaborators to develop effective preventative and therapeutic treatments in both developed and emerging countries. Dianic is building an active pipeline by advancing its proprietary filamentous fungal-based microbial platform technologies, including C1 and Dapabis. But getting into it, I want to give you a very um, clerical and animated view of exactly what this company is doing, and then we'll take a look at what they're trying to treat. Dyadic search for a microorganism to produce cellulases to soften and fade denim led their scientists to the discovery of the fungus Thermophilomyces heterothalica, formerly Mycelliothora thermophila, nicknamed C1. Dianic's naturally derived C1 cells went through a series of random mutations. These mutations brought about unexpected but highly beneficial changes that transformed the shape of the C1 cells from long strands to short, grain-sized sections. C1's unique morphology, its novel form and structure resulted in incredibly high productivity and better growth conditions leading to the manufacture of low-cost biological products. Over the past two decades, scientists have made various additional improved genetic modifications to C1 cells, leading to further increases in productivity, purity, stability, and quality. C1 cells can be grown on low-cost synthetic media at scales ranging from micro titer plates right through to large industrial fermentation tanks. C1 can express diverse classes and types of biological molecules, including recumbent enzymes, vaccines, virus-like particles, and therapeutic proteins, such as FC fusion proteins and monoclonal and bispecific antibodies. Synthetically engineered C1 cells also have the potential to produce certain metabolites. C1 cells have been engineered to express antigens that have potential to be used to rapidly produce high doses of recumbent vaccines that can combat infectious diseases such as COVID-19, Rift Valley Fever, Schmallenberg, and influenza at a much lower cost and at flexible commercial scales. Dyadic has signed research collaborations and sub-licensing agreements expediting C1's use in animal and human health applications. The ability to program C1 cells with genes of interest coupled with C1's high productivity using low-cost synthetic media provides Dyadic and its collaborators with the potential to help make healthcare more accessible and affordable to patients globally. Now, when you look at the market opportunities, this is such a broad reach that everything from human with infectious diseases to seasonal flus to products like poultry vaccines. And we can take a look at the products that are currently in development on the human side with influenza A vaccines to COVID to seasonal influenza to HIV and mnRNA and RNA uh, vaccines that are all looking at 12 to 24 months up to 12 to 36 months on the animal health products currently in development. Uh, with poultry vaccines, which is super fascinating, um, you know, livestock vaccines, all again, 12 to 24 months from a revenue uh, standpoint. And then you also have alternative protein products currently uh, in development here for like food and nutrition, um, you know, just a lot of intriguing stuff, even down to cannabinoids, which you're looking at about 12 to 36 months on. So this company has a huge, huge market opportunity with this platform. And they currently have a balance sheet that is definitely supporting this based off Q3 2023 we can see that they were sitting on about total assets of about $9.2 million, uh, comparable to about $7.4 million of that is cash. 
uh, which is a very healthy position to be in considering their total current liabilities, set at about 1.6 million. So they could currently pay off their liabilities with just the cash they currently have on hand. So this company is an intriguing place and it also has a very huge insider ownership from my understanding around 30% of this company uh, has an insider stake. So very mission driven company here. And we just wanted to give a brief introductory to Dyadic International. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below.